Monroe County airport officials have begun telling private companies to prepare to submit bids to operate the airport's tower. As WTIU Stan Dostrepsky reports, the airport's director says a private operator would be cheaper overall, but would likely cost the county more. It costs about $450,000 a year to operate the Monroe County Airport's tower, but the county pays less than $100,000 of that. At a meeting of the County Aviation Board Tuesday, airport manager Bruce Payton told the board the federal sequester will close the tower at the end of September, meaning it'll need a private operator to reopen. Payton estimates that could cost a quarter million dollars a year. What's going to factor into it is how competitive these companies want to be when uh, when we give them the list of hours that we want to operate and, uh, you know, our requirements here, how, how competitive can they be as, as contractors. Monroe County Council President Jeff McKim points out the county's budget isn't even balanced, so finding more money for the airport would mean cuts to other line items. But he notes it's not as though the county would have to find the full $250,000 in cuts. When he says a quarter of a million dollars, the current aviation general budget already includes $97,000 for the tower. So it wouldn't be a full additional quarter of a million dollars. It would be more like $150,000 in additions. Payton says federal officials have told him towers are more likely to stay open if managers can show a nationwide detriment if those facilities are closed. Payton says he'll stress the airport's connections with the Crane Naval Base and local pharmaceutical companies in his talks with the Federal Aviation Administration. For WTIU News, I'm Stan Jastrzewski.